Let's talk all about anvils. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Hello, and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today, let's talk about anvils. Anvils are those things that take a lot of iron to make and can be hilariously dropped on your friend's head. They look simple, but there's a lot of depth to them. Now be warned that we are talking about Minecraft 1.7, and in the future, things may change, but so far, there aren't any rumors that anything will change anytime soon. So let's show them off. Yep. So first, what is the recipe for an anvil? Well, open up a crafting table. You're gonna put three iron uh, blocks on the top, and then four iron ingots on the bottom. Think of this as the head of the anvil, and this is the base of the anvil down here. And then you are given an anvil. When you throw it on the ground, you hear a very satisfying <laughs> ka-ching. And when you open it up, this is what the UI looks like. Let me run through what this is. This first area is where you will be putting the target item. This is the item that you're gonna be changing with the anvil. Uh, next is the sacrifice item. This is the item that you're gonna be giving up to the target item. And then this is the output. When you add an item to the anvil, it will put the name of the item right up here and you can rename whatever item. So let's say this is a crafting table. I want it to be my awesome table. Woohoo! Uh, then you can rename it just like this. Uh, whenever you're about ready to do something with the anvil, it will tell you how many enchantment points it will cost. This is taken from your experience level. So if you have a level of 30, it will subtract 5, leaving you with a level of 25. The anvil is also useful for repairing items that have been enchanted. So this diamond sword has sharpness five, which is a very, very good enchant, and I wouldn't want to lose it. If I was just to take this and put it into my normal uh, crafting square here, I will lose the enchantment. It will repair. This is normally how you repair an item. You put the same item into a crafting table and you get it out. But you can see that the output doesn't have the enchantment. I want to keep that enchantment around and that's where the anvil comes in handy. By using this tool, you keep the enchantment at the output of that repair. You can see that this will cost 25 enchantment cost, uh, and we're gonna get into uh, where this cost comes from in a bit. You can uh, repair items with either the same item, uh, so I have this diamond sword and we can use another diamond sword, or you can grab uh, the, the base item from it. So what you do is you look at what is in the first part of, of the item. So this is an iron sword, so we have iron, wooden, stone, and diamond, and gold. Those are what are the base materials of an item. That's how you find that out quickly. If I take this sword and place it in, I can put a diamond in with it, and then it will use up and repair up to 25% of the damage on this sword. If you're confused what I'm talking about, do you see that little green bar? That means that I've used this item a few times. Um, I, didn't, I didn't degrade this item too much, but you can see that the output hasn't been, isn't degraded at all. So uh, you can either use the same item or the base item that, to uh, repair it. Now you can also do something that's pretty awesome, which is uh, uh, either add enchantments from a book. So we have this knockback two book, and so it'll, be, it'll give me a knockback two sword. Or you can combine enchantments together. So we have the sharpness uh, now, a sharpness five and a knockback two, and they come out to be a sharpness five knockback two sword uh, in the output. So that's very useful. This can only be used with the same item. So if I said, if somehow I had a, a uh, unbreaking three hoe, I couldn't put that in with a sword and expect to get an unbreaking three uh, sword out of that. 
We already covered renaming, so that's another thing that I could do with this awesome Sharpness 5 Knockback 2 sword if I wanted. Now, uh, there's another option that you have with the anvil. And so right here I have this Fire Aspect 2 book. But if I grab something uh, that normally wouldn't be uh, associated with that, if I was to just say put down an enchanting table uh, and use the enchanting table on this axe here, I'd get things like unbreaking or maybe efficiency, but I wouldn't get, sh I wouldn't get fire aspect on this, but I can combine that in the anvil, which is the only way to get these sort of combat style enchantments on, uh, on axes. This will work with a few different items, so I could get, say, Silk Touch on Shears, or even Unbreaking, and you can see the fire aspect does work with this sword, or with this axe, uh, to get, now I have cooked pork chops, isn't that nice? Uh, so that's a, a really useful way to use the anvil to add enchantments to items that may not naturally get those enchantments with the enchantment table. So where does this enchantment cost come from? How, how do you get to these numbers? Now it's a little bit difficult to explain. There's a lot of factors that go in to where this enchantment cost comes from. The materials that your item is made out of, the base durability of the material that you're putting into or the, uh, the item that you're putting into. So this diamond sword has a larger base durability than the uh, the diamond, so the cost is more expensive to combine them. Uh, on top of that, which enchantments you have. Um, this gets very complicated very fast, so let me touch on some of the basics. First is the prior work penalty. If you've done anything to an item in an anvil before, there will be a two level prior work penalty added to this item. So let's say I renamed it, that's two levels of work penalty. Let's say that I've added these two enchantments, that's two more levels, uh, or I've repaired it before. So uh, you get uh, these work durability problems uh, by, by doing that. There is a limit, uh, so if a, if a enchantment is above 39 uh, enchantment points, when you're in survival, you're not able to enchant above that. If you're in creative, you can. So uh, we'll switch back over here and grab that Bane of Arthur, or that, no, I wanted the sharp, the smite. There we are. Uh, the, you can see that I can enchant above 39 here to get that sword. Now, it, because it's so complicated, I would suggest looking at the wiki to really learn, especially if you're trying to get a, a specific enchant on a item. Uh, and there's tables uh, that explain the base durability and the, uh, and the materials used and the tools and absolutely everything on the wiki. Yep. And don't forget that anvils are affected by gravity, which means that you can drop them on all your friends' heads they just have to stand still long enough for it to happen effectively. And that about wraps it up for this show all about anvils. If you have a tip or suggestion you want to send our way, feel free to email us at mail at omgcraft.com and make sure you subscribe at youtube.com slash omgcraft or twit.tv slash omgcraft. And I uh, hope you have a great time playing with anvils. See you next time. Bye.